The stability of a structure is its ability to stay in one spot, not move, not fall over, and not get broken as soon as anything surrounding it changes, like the weather or the amount of weight it's holding or anything like that. The stability of a structure is a very important aspect of building, because if our structures weren't stable, nothing we made would be able to stay standing. The houses would all be falling down, bridges would be flying all over the place, nothing would work out, your dresser wouldn't even be able to hold your clothes. As we can see in the first example, the card house isn't very stable. As soon as the hair dryer is turned on, the card house collapses. This is because the material of the cards is not very thick, and the structure is unstable. A very small change in the factors surrounding it will make the card house collapse, as anyone who has ever attempted to make a card house knows. It's also very hard to keep it balanced. In the second example, we can see that when you make the house out of textbooks instead of cards, the structure becomes a lot more stable. You can blow a blow dryer at the, at the textbooks, you can even hit them, and they still won't fall over. That's because the textbooks are made out of a sturdier material, so they won't fall over. This means that it's not just the design of a structure that needs to be taken account into account, but also what it's made out of. These are both factors in determining the stability of a structure. In our world, we can see this because that's why houses are made out of bricks instead of straw, just like in the story of the Three Little Pigs. The strength of a structure is defined by how capable it is to withstand any great physical force, or in this case, how much weight it can hold of a load. First, we are going to use paper as a base for an example of a structure, and as you can see, paper is a very weak structure base as its maximum weight capacity is very low, which caused the bridge to fall down. Maximum weight capacity is how much weight a structure can carry before it collapses. So in the next example, we used a textbook as a base this time for the base of the structure. And as seen, it is able to hold many more items and is able to withstand a much larger weight when compared to the paper. This is because the textbook has a larger weight capacity and the strength of a structure is how much it can hold. For example, elevators, bridges, and almost every other everyday structure has a maximum weight capacity and is built in a specific way to tailor to the needs of a society and the environment.